S&P 500 futures open this session flat to moderately higher. Dower data, uh, the volatility in treasuries and uh, stock valuations over tightening on the minds of traders as we speak. Uh, news coming in the morning, the World Trade Organization made its first change to global trade in years with President Biden signing a bill for lowering shipping uh, costs. Bank of Japan, as expected, to fight the trend and kept rates unchanged. Also, in the very early going, we heard uh, FOMC President Powell um, talking about the international role of the dollar and was quoted as saying that the Fed is acutely focused on a 2% objective for inflation. Going into the meat of this session, uh, S&P 500 futures gave up some early gains and continue to trade in a very wide range. We had some mixed data come out today. Uh, May industrial production beat on a year-over-year -year basis, but uh, missed on a month-over-month -month basis. May manufacturing production did exactly the same thing, and May leading indicators worse than expected. All that to say, uh, the winners or the the winners in the S and P 500 about pharma, consumer staples. The losers seem to be energy and tech. The energy touching down five percent on the day. That said, traders continue to monitor uh, price volatility in the dollar and in yields. Also, uh, any kind of news flow with regards to Ukraine and China with COVID, given the long weekend. Looking at options, um, looking at August through uh, September options, volatility moderately lower. Skew is unchanged as both the up and down variants are equally down on the day. Um, that said, we have uh, skew uh, basically unchanged on the day. We have the 35 delta area, whereas tail, the 10 to 15 delta is actually higher on the day. Uh, S&P e micro mini futures volume continues to be very strong. And yesterday we saw a volume of 1,635,732 with an open interest of 290,235.